Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm not going to speak too loud for you tonight. It's currently like close quarter to 11 at the moment. And my room, my housemate is sleeping, so do apologize for that. Um, anyways, uh, this is a bit of a, let's just say, my favourites video. It's not really my favourite, it's just like those monthly favourites like makeup or anything like that, but it's more like uh I guess you could say that anime favourites. Something like that. Um so yeah to so many of us uh we grew up as a kid watching anime we know it's anime, but it's cartoon when we were a kid, but as we get older, we start to understand. So, what I'm trying to say is that I'm sure you all have your first anime and happen to have your first anime crush and everything. And I just want to talk about it. <laughs> like, I, like, if you're a fellow anime fan or taku, whatever you want to call it, Yes. Okay, so I just want to talk about this all. Um, so when I was a kid, oh, I guess it was, I guess I was a kid. Like I'm, clo I was close to a teenager, like twelve years old or thirteen years old. So it's pretty much a kid and teenager when I was like a young teen. Um, I believe the first time I known about anime was or manga specifically was my friend introduces this. she introduces to me fruits basket yes that's a really old series i still love it um probably the first anime that <coughs> anime itself so um but i do know that like over time i realized ceremonies anime and everything <coughs> Pokemon's anime, Digimon, you know it. Um, so I think over time, my first anime crush was actually Kira Yamato. In Japanese, they call it Kira, Kira Yamato. Um, he's from the series Gundam Seed. It was the series that got me into Gundam for a bit, but then I stopped. I think the only series of Gundam that I have watched was Gundam Seed. Gundam Sea Destiny, Gundam Wayne, and Gundam Double O. But yeah, Kira Yamato was my first crush, still love him. He was a bit reluctant hero, but he was kind hearted. I just love him during that time. He was, like I said, an anime crush. Um, but yeah, over time. Uh, less is formed. I'm sure many of you otaku fans understand that. <laughs> that kind of stuff like you finally have more. You tend to uh, self liking all these characters and everything. Um, but yeah, I think back then, um, I was in New Yasha, but I wasn't particularly having any crush on any of them like until like realizing right now that this shomuru was hot but <laughs> i was a kid back then so there's that um uh, i think after kira yamato was uh uh feral atom or yami yugi the first you know from Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> but yeah i can't help but find him hot well his egyptian feral self during that time but I got bullied by my classmate because of that, which is not fun. Um, so yeah, as time goes on, um, there were not that many crushes to be fair, but, but there were some. Um, I can't really think of all of them. Like, my main one was Kira Yamato. Like, of everything and 
think um, by the time I watch this anime called Kaite Kyo Hit My Reborn, um, I simply love, love, love this character. I find this part because he was hot, but I love how his personality traits, everything he stands for, even though he's a mafia, part of the mafia. Uh, for those who don't know the anime, is a Mafia Shonen Jump comedy anime. It's really good. You just have to try to get past the first couple of episodes because it was more like introduction to the characters, comedy, before I get serious. Um, once it get serious, it's really, really, really good. Like, I can't. Oh god, but yeah. Aside from that, like, my all-time favorite character since then, even now, is Vongole Primo, or Giotto. He's just hot, okay? He, he's just, I think, in my... I know I'm I'm all I'm an adult now, even though it's kind of childish to be thinking of this, but I just can't help it. Um, at least I'm not like in love with some anime character, like animal. Like I'm not in love with something like Simba. From what I know, people. Yeah, Simba from Lion King. I know some people fell in love with Simba. Um, not in, like no, in a romantic way, which is I kind of find it weird, but I'm not judging. <laughs> but just saying that is that oh. I don't really have a romantic feelings for any of the. Disney characters to be fair like I do have like I do like Disney characters like I like their personality the princess some of the princess I love um in a inspiring I find them like they're like an idol like I see myself as them that kind of way like in terms of Disney I would my favorite is Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Mulan. Um, who doesn't love Mulan? She's like one of the characters that pretty much portrays feminism. Like, if men can go to war, so can women. Like, she proved the men wrong. <laughs> you know, Mulan was originally uh, of the Chinese ballad, if I remember correctly. Whether she exists or not, who knows. But still, it was quite inspiring to watch and see. It was, it's just as, um, I think there was another character that was also, uh, quite a feminist, I guess you could say. Like, Basically, women can do it too, kind of way. I just can't think of. I can't think of the name, to be honest. Huh? It's a tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Oh well. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, but yeah. Anime. Um, just in terms of anime, I think there's so many animes out there that it's kind of lost, lost track. Um, all I can say is that the ones that are out now, I don't really, I'm not really keen on it. I'm not really a fan of it because it's just the synopsis, the the way the animation was done, it was just too generic. Like, I miss the old 
anime like for example uh, can we think something that is old mm. ah best crap I'm not sure if you heard of that one uh web series s Kogius, um Psychopaths, that was, that was good. The uh, Angel is good. Um, uh, what else? Fruits Basket, definitely. I'm so happy that they remade that, the Fruits Basket. Though for Salomon Crystal, I was a bit disappointed in the first season, but it got better over like as they went for second season and first season but I feel like they could do a lot whole lot better. I still prefer the original. <laughs> um I have yet to watch for my Alchemist Brotherhood because I still like the original one more. I will give Brotherhood a chance once I got around to it. Um but yeah I think the only anime that I I'm okay with in this generation at the moment, this year, will be Food War. Um, what else? What's the name? Oh, yeah, Psychopaths 3. It just came out recently, it was good. Um, I think the other one is Mai Pshita Wabu Iluma. Basically, about a kid going and up being sold to a demon, and up in demon world, and going to demon school. It's pretty funny, to be honest. Like, I do recommend watching it. But yeah, can't think of anything else, to be honest. Um. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys also have. Uh, crushes, character crushes, anime crushes, or movie characters crushes. Like, I know some people like Iron Man, Superman, um, Captain America, and everything like that. So, I think that if you want to judge someone that likes have a crush on an anime character and you like a character from a movie. I don't think it's right for people to judge one another like that. It's just hypocritical. But yeah, I'm just saying for those who doesn't understand uh, this point of view, just want to make it clear. Um, but yeah, in terms of the movies, uh, I don't really have a favorite character crush. You know what I mean? But I do have a favorite characters, like, like for example, um, I think in terms of characters, I like Stitch, I like Groot, and I like Toothless. I just love them, they're so sassy, cute, cheeky, <sighs> it just, they make me laugh, like, who doesn't like Groot? Well, baby Groot for me, but... I just love it. <laughs> Toothless. <sighs> Who doesn't love a few some cute cat like black dragon, okay? This pure awesomeness. Oh yeah, I forgot about Niffler. Niffler is he's a troublemaker but you can't help but love him. <laughs> yeah, I I like those kind of characters. Um Oh yeah, I do have one character crush. It was Newt's Commander. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's just slipped my mind. Yeah, Newt's Commander is my favorite. Maybe because I love how he interacts with magical creatures. Um, he he's quite cute. The, the actor himself. I like how he managed to portray Newt's Commander in a positive life. Like um, since the character itself has autism. I think it's a good thing mainly because it's different. It's also spread awareness about autism as well. I think that is quite pure genius of um, 
JK Rowling to do. And I think if movies are able to use mental health, autism, whatever, spread awareness, people to understand, that would be really, really great. But yeah, that is my opinion. Uh, other than that, uh, I've watched quite a lot of anime, so I like a lot of ca the characters, but I'm not like crushing on them. Um, I like, for example, uh, I'm trying to think of. Oh yeah, Shinya Kogami. I mean, he's hot. Can't help but love it. But not, I'm not questioning anything. Just love it. Um, I don't know why people seem to like Sebastian. Like, I know he's hot to some people, but he's quite... Uh, I don't know what the right word to say it. This is not my type. Uh, so to all the Sebastian Michaelis fans. It's just not my thing. Um, I also like female characters. Okay, I I love what they did. I like Lacus Klein from Gundam C. Because she's quite passionate. She's quite pacifist. Um... I like it. Uh, I like characters a lot. Um, I like Jalal and also Elsa from Fairy Tale. They're really good char characters, I have to say. Um, for One Piece, I absolutely love like 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 the character Rob Nicole Robin. I feel I feel like I can relate to her in some ways because she's quite misunderstood. She did what she can to survive. She, like she has trust issues, which I don't blame her. Um, uh, till she meet the Straw Hat crew. So, yeah, she's one of my favorite char female characters in that show. Um, Breach. Uh, can't really say. But I do have have the hot spot Ukiola <laughs> cipher. Yeah. Dark emo guy. Well, hollow. <laughs> Who doesn't like it? <laughs> um, Kuroko in the basket. I like Akashi and Kuroko. Like, this is so hilarious. Kise annoys me. He reminds me of a golden retriever. Aomine and Taiga is just too arrogant for me. But yeah, it's one of my favorite series to be fair, aside from Kata Kira Hit Like Born. Um, sorry. Uh -oh. Can't really think of any other shows. But yeah, I think I'm just going to end it here, um, because I'm just like, probably blacking out of what anime I should talk. But yeah, this is my favourite, if I could, if I was like, younger, I would say, he's my husband though, like, like to people who call female characters that they love, waifu, something like that. <sighs> Otaku terms, but yeah, me is Bongo Primo always. But yeah, please let us let me know who if you have a favorite character, if who your anime crush is. Let please put the comment down below. And if you want to watch more of my videos, please to subscribe and hit the bell button for more notification. If you like this video, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.